Welcome to every Balkan kid's childhood. <laughs> this is so good. Hello from Belgrade. My name is Ivana, and today I'm with. Ciao, ja sam Sanja. And ciao, ciao, Philip. <laughs> so Philip is Auntie Lolia's son, actually, and this is his future wife, the Mrs. <laughs> We're currently da, da. at the Tashmaidan Park, right? Na. Okay. So it is very, very beautiful here. Let me show you around. Hello. Ciao. Kako vam je? A ja selfie stalno. Ovdje Može. Kako si? <laughs> okay, we're gonna make a selfie now. Hear the sound of snow. Ooh, I love that sound. Who also loves that sound? Wee! And look. We have not one, but two snowmen over here. And they are huge. Wait, let me show you how big they are. This is me getting photobombed by... Hello, how are you? He looks so friendly, seriously. <laughs> what a cutie. <laughs> Apparently, we made it to the best pizza place in Belgrade. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. So, apparently, they put like these sauces on top of the pizza, and everybody goes freaking mental about it. Okay, so chicken salad. Pilica, goveja, ruska. Okay. <laughs> you guys are also asking me for the prices in Belgrade. So two of these slices are 240 dinar. Uh, 120 dinar is one euro. So basically this is two euros for two slices of big pizza. I don't think that's expensive, but it's fast food. Let's be real. I'll tell you more of the prices when we, when we encounter more prices. I'm not having the pizza today because my stomach is still upset from eating too much wheat. But uh, we'll be back. I will definitely try that pizza before we leave Belgrade. And if they say this is like the place that feeds Belgrade or like the youth of Belgrade, then you have to try this pizza. We came home and Auntie Lola made... She made pancakes and she was like, you guys can't leave. Nobody leaves. Nobody leaves when there's pancakes. and we are on our way to the supermarket actually but you guys have been asking about the prices and I'm gonna make a separate video about the complete price prices but to give you an impression uh, you can drive around in the public transportation I asked on uh, Tiloya you can drive around for an hour and a half for uh, 100 dinar which is less than one euro uh, in the restaurants Okay, which is I think less than five euros. So one for one person. Okay. So it's if, if it's like a specialty meat or if you like having meat, so non-veg food. It would be like around 800 or 1,000 dinars, which is like about 10 euros or less. So I think it's like on the cheaper end because for instance in Amsterdam to find a meal below 10 euros is quite hard. But on the other hand, if you're for instance in Italy or another Mediterranean country, then it's kind of like on the same level. Guys, I'm with Auntie Lolia in Belgrade on exchange with the organization to Glimpse. If you want to know more about it, make sure to check the link down in the description below. And without further ado, let's check out that supermarket. We 
We have arrived at the Moxie supermarket and Tete Lola had a pretty cool story about this. Tete Lola, what did you say? Before the second World War, it was a very small part. So we are in Old Belgrade right now. Yeah, so that's why she thought we should come here and see the food. <laughs> and if I can make you a recommendation for the non-veg people, buy the pili sausage. It's chicken sausage, it's very classic and it's delicious. And these are all the prices for 100 grams. Oh guys, something else. So this is the yogurt. So seriously, this is like the most basic yogurt. It's very bland, it's more um, drinkable than regular yogurt than you're probably used to. And this one, for instance, is 100 dinar, so less than a euro for one liter. So this is on discount that Lerner just said. You can also buy like a big one, look at that. Boom. Oh, and if you want the regular yogurt, gusti yogurt, which means like a thick yogurt. Oh, something else for the non-veg people? Chvarci. Honestly, I, I haven't eaten this for like more than 20 years, I guess. Chvarci are basically fried pork fat but it's like crunchy then I don't know if you're a non-veg you might want to try it because it's a local specialty and this is all of the smoked meats and stuffs also very traditional Serbian remember what I told you about Bosna so they literally have Bosna cheese this one I'm gonna show you okay let me take the white one but they also have like the golden version this is vegan no dairy products they literally have vegan cheese here and i was looking at it like what is it made of well it's basically just like potato starch and water and what is it palm oil well there you go for all my veg vegan people you can get some cheese too you can also buy poli in the sausage version i'm wondering if they have bosno sausage that would be awesome look poli that's the best one. Unfortunately, no Bosno sausages. We were looking at it. Only in the stores where they have like the healthy food. You can also get the Mladi Sir here. So the, the young white cheese. But honestly, just get that at the market. It will be better there because the people make it. It's like homemade over there. All of the fishies. If you want some fresh salmon and stuff. And around the corner are the more traditional um, cookies. These are some of my favorites. So this is basically cake dipped in chocolate and then dipped in coconut. So they are called Lemington, uh, but here they are called Kaksuzavelo. Chupatsi. There we go. Chupatsi. And Shampita, basically this is all egg white, whipped cream. This is delicious. You need to try this. But try this at the bakery. And this is called Shampita. And then we have shapice, which are basically cookies. And then we have these, orasnice, which are rolled in walnuts. These are also really, really good. Massive, massive childhood memories. Unfortunately, this is only available in the holiday season. Do you see this? This massive package filled with sweets, chocolates, anything and everything, cookies. So this is very traditional to give to children look at my head look at this <laughs> this is very traditional to give to children under the christmas tree on new year's actually not even like the catholic christmas because catholic christmas is not really celebrated in serbia they celebrate the pravoslavni christmas i don't know how i should translate that in english that's on 7th uh, january but this is given to children on New Year's. No more God Yeah. And actually Santa Claus gives it to them. Look at my head. This is literally all my childhood dreams come true. I need to buy this. <laughs> as for the price, as you can see, this is massive. And this is then 700 dinars, which is, well, let's say less than 7 euros. Another super traditional cookie, vanillice. So these are basically like two vanilla cookies uh, and then filled with jam in the middle. Tata Lola uh, had this for me on the first day. Tulumba, very very sweet. It's a little bit like gulab jamun, but it's a different flavor. This is also something you really have to try, but get it in a bakery, not at a supermarket. So you know the pogacica? 
the puff pastry, which I absolutely adore. This is kind of like the mini version, mini puff pastry squares. It's delicious, dried with the yogurt. And apparently they also have this one. Uh, I don't know if this is whole wheat because that would be new. All of the puff pastries. Oh, so this is Pogacista Satvarsima. You know, the, the fried pork meat that I was talking about? That's in here. Some people really, really adore that. And then, yeah, this one too. Ooh, they have the burak sosiro mishpinacho. <gasps> I love this. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. And the, they have the whole wheat pogacice. Oh my gosh, I'm going mental over here. Kiflitze. So these are, this is not puff pastry and this is also not a croissant. It's more like a bread-like texture filled with cheese. This is so delicious. My aunt makes the best ones, but yeah you need to try this oh my gosh everything i want everything here ho, ho, ho. the pastry is so good so this is with meat this is with apple this is with cherries uh, this is with pumpkin please try that one because it's also really good this is again posna so vegan with spinach uh, and then potatoes i don't like that one i have to say and then we have croissants over here and little sticks the pastry is so good oh people will think that this is maybe like uh, puris it's not puris it's uh, <laughs> it's actually bread you know how some people have overweight luggage because they've been shopping way too much I have overweight luggage because I'm gonna bring all of the food of the supermarket back with me to India <gasps> Oh, again, for the non-veg people. Serbia in general is a non-veg country, I have to say. And obviously I was raised non-veg, so I know like the good non-veg stuff. But I'm also like pointing out the veg stuff too, right? So for the non-veg people, Argeta, Pošteta. So this is basically like um, the, the, the cream meat spread, but it's so good. What? They actually have a vegan one. What is life right now? Okay, I need to try this one. Okay, I'm very extremely happy about this because I was not expecting that. Uh, but you need to take the chicken one, Argeta, like the class, these are the classic ones. This is what I grew up with, Churecha. So this is turkey, actually. Ah, this one, please take this. This is classic, classic chicken meat spread. It's so good. I'm getting to this one. Unfortunately, all my dreams are shattered because there is fish in here. But if you do eat fish, post now one. So for my veg vegan people, no, no, no. It's it's still with fish. Sorry. Petaliolia found me Vegeta. So if you are like me and you like your luggage to be overweight with food, this is the 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 traditional uh, Serbian mama spice that they use they use this in everything just sprinkle vegeta in it on it mix it whatever this is the the spice vegeta this is also the the brand that you need it's kind of like a veg like spice mix oh it's so good mm. moving on to the snacks we are at the chips version this is my childhood chipsy classic so this brand actually i think it might be croatian let me see I don't know. A company of PepsiCo. Okay, whatever. Anyways, this is my childhood. You need to try this chips. It's chips, but still. And this is uh, with the the wrinkles thingies. They also have a pizza flavor. Just try the classic one. It's pretty good. And then what else do we have? Mm, this is all the modern stuff. Oh, apparently they also have hot dog chips. Okay. That is interesting. I'm drooling. Can you hear me drooling? Yup, <gasps> smoky. Again, my childhood. <gasps> I need to get this smoky. So this is basically like um, puffed corn uh, flips, and then this is with peanut flavor. I think they also have a cheese flavor, but the peanut flavor is my childhood. <gasps> they also have a chocolate one. What is life right now? <gasps> what? What? My luggage is gonna be so overweight. <laughs> okay. Oh, another childhood snack. Cricky grits. So these are basically like small, I don't know, like chunk, it, it's, I don't know, just try it, it's like snack. Oh my gosh, need to get that, <gasps> need to get the chocolate smoky too. Whoa, another modern version of a childhood snack. So plasma is basically like what all 
bulk on moms feed their children like they crumble this and they put it in milk and they they make everything with it like the cookies but this is the savory version what you need to try it with sesame and um what is it called my gosh i'm juggling three languages seriously like dutch english and serbian <laughs> so sometimes it's a little bit harder for me uh what is it sea salt what so usually it's sweet wait let me show you welcome to every balkan kid's childhood <laughs> this is so good you need to try these cookies i'm not just saying that because i i, I was basically raised on this and every balkan kid with me uh, there is um i think the glucose cookies in india like compared to this basically like uh, kids are raised on this it's so good and it's also like a bambi brand doesn't that make your heart melt? Definitely bring these back with me to India. Oh my gosh, I need to import these to India. But I can't like, I can't compete with the glucose. What is it? Glucose D, I think. I've never really had those. Anyways, look at this aisle. They have everything. The mini ones. Ooh, with uh, nuts, with hazelnuts. And then to go, of course. We have the the mixed version or the the powder version so you can make like a porridge off of it which is what moms used to do when we were little oh the mini mini we have the mini and the mini mini apparently how cute they even had the posna version so if you want the vegan version there we go what is this hmm okay no plasma plasma it is let me introduce you to some more childhood snacks Munchmallow. So this is basically a cookie with uh, marshmallow on top and then uh, with chocolate. And then we have, these are also really good, where are they? Yeah, hot cakes. Why are these chocolate? No, no, no. I want the regular ones. Yeah, hot cakes. There we go. Family pack. This is what we need. There we go. So it's basically a cake with orange jelly on top and then with, oh, I am drooling. Can you hear that? Sorry guys, with uh, chocolate on top. So, so good. Napolitanke, I'm not a huge fan of those. Napolitanke are those like wafer cookies. I'm not a huge fan of those. And then, Evro Cream. Let me take you to the origin, my friends. There we go, Nutella versus Evro Cream. Nutella, Evro Cream. No, 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 no. Evro Cream always wins. Look at this bucket. People buy it in buckets. This is not even a joke. So basically, it is kind of like Nutella, but it's with the uh, white and uh, chocolate cream. So white chocolate and then like the the hazelnut cream. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and I love these packagings. This is my childhood, man. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Oh, love it, love it, love it so much. See, this is also like a package that is gifted to children and over here you can see like what's in there basically a lot of candy <laughs> look at this look at the size of this look at my hand it's huge something else that is very very specifically balkan let me see okay there we go chocolate bananas so it's a chocolate no it's banana flavored mousse oh here this is a traditional one mousse slash jelly candy and then uh, with chocolate this is really good you need to try this and it's not really a banana flavor because in general i don't like banana candy too much it's it's a different kind of banana flavor make sure to try it well that's it for the serbian supermarket today guys i am definitely going to supermarket another day so if you enjoy this of course put a thumbs up vlog is not finished yet but i do hope you enjoy this section because i always love these kind of videos oh one more final thing that i need to show you this this is whipped cream ice cream schlag get this this is not vegan it is vegetarian so schlag can you see this yeah schlag it's, it's a very particular taste that's why i would recommend it it's really good Today we're actually going to explore Belgrade with my uncle. So if you would like to travel along, make sure to click that subscribe button. And then I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.